Hi everyone, this is John from Packerite. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of using Packerite to create a secure endpoint that we'll use to self-host Nextcloud and enable access to it from anywhere on the internet. For those of you that are not familiar with Nextcloud, it's a very popular file hosting service. It's like Dropbox or Google Drive, and you can uh, host it on your own hardware. Uh, it's open source, receives a lot of uh, support from developers, and there's also a huge community of users that really enjoy using it. So if you're interested in self-hosting, definitely Nextcloud is something that you could take a look at. There are multiple ways of installing Nextcloud on your computer. So we're gonna use the um, Docker method. Uh, it's the quickest way of setting it up. And um, there are comprehensive tutorials online that can really talk about um, the different settings and uh, methods and configurations that you should use. Um, so I'm gonna be skipping through some of those just to quickly get it up and running. So I just wanna let you all know that ahead of time that if you are setting up Nextcloud, you should look at, for a more comprehensive tutorial. And so the goals of this video is to set that service up um, along with TLS using uh, Let's Encrypt and then also a custom domain. Now typically, um, when you're setting up Nextcloud and other web services that are similar to it, there'll be some steps where you need to set up a web server or a proxy, and they'll suggest really great ones like Nginx, Caddy, or Traffic. Um, and you might also need to install Docker or CertBot. And these are just a lot of steps. It can get very complicated if you're not used to using this kind of software. If you're on a platform like Windows, um, you know, you can have some issues with just trying to get either virtual machines running or Docker running on Windows. So we can all together um, just be a very difficult process. Uh, with Packerite, it has built-in support for Let's Encrypt. And so it'll basically make this a piece of cake. So let's get started here. First, we'll need to make sure that we have the latest version of Nextcloud. And so we've got the latest version here. What I'm gonna do is use the, um, the pre-canned um, command for running Nextcloud on Docker. What you'll see here though is that I'm using my local port 8081. It's just because I have something already running on 8080. But now we have that running. Um, and so before we actually start trying to put this thing on the internet, let's just go through some of the steps to configure it, especially when we're setting up our administrative account. And so we'll let Nextcloud do its thing. And so while it's basically just initializing in the background, I'm gonna switch over to my dashboard here. And what you'll see is um, I have a host name that was assigned to my tunnel, dawnfrost.pecorite.net. And I wanna create a custom domain um, called nextcloud.packetdemo.com. And I'm just gonna create a CNAME record for that. So let me let me go to um, DigitalOcean. This is this is what I use for um, just to manage my domains, and I'm going to create a CNAME record for that. I'm going to switch back to my dashboard, and I'm going to show you this this section, the domain section of my dashboard. And what you'll see here is I have a a record here that basically you know indicates that I've verified ownership of this domain, and so. What Packerite does is, as a measure of security, when you request a domain, um, when you request HTTP traffic to be routed to your client, you need to verify that you actually own the domain. This way, you know nobody can either manipulate traffic or somehow hijack that traffic if they are on the exact same edge server as you. And so, so you need to verify your custom domain first um, before you make your traffic rules. This way, you just don't suffer any kind of mis uh, missteps. And so at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. We've got our container running. Um, we've set up our custom domain. And now we need to just create our rule. And so currently, we don't have any rules. And so what I'll do is I'll add a new one for this domain. My destination is localhost, and I'm using port 8081. 
the Let's Encrypt flag is going to enable Let's Encrypt. So the Packerite client is just going to manage Let's Encrypt. It's going to store the um, certificate information in the configuration directory that um, that's storing your Packerite config, like all your traffic rules. And I'll, I'll show you guys that. Um, now, what we also want to do is also use this dash dash redirect flag. What this will do is for this traffic rule, if any HTTP plain text traffic um, is received by the client, it's just going to redirect it to HTTPS. This way, all requests are always going to be encrypted um, and use HTTPS. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the client. And let's visit... Okie dokie, so um, we're able to uh, actually visit Nextcloud, but we're getting this issue with the config. And so what I'll do here is, I already have a configuration that I fixed. Let me show you the contents of it real quick. Um, so when an HTTP request is received, it has a field called a host field that um, actually indicates the host that it's going to. And so by default, when you're setting it, on let's say localhost, you'll just get this as a trusted domain. And so what I did was, um, before I recorded this, I just uh, created a copy of this config and added nextcloud.packademo.com. So what we'll do is we'll copy this. I think I had this in my history. There we go. And so when you copy a file from a host to a container, you'll see that the permissions are not what they should be. Okay, and so now that looks the same. So once I refresh this, you just go to the login screen. All right, so, um, we're able to basically log in to Nextcloud um, using the Dockerized um, method of deploying it. And you'll see here that we're just able to kind of walk around some of the, the content that they just um, throw in by default. And so that's working. And so we literally just created one traffic rule. We enabled Let's Encrypt. Um, let's test that redirection is working correctly. And here we go, we're redirected to HTTPS. So we have um, secure redirect working as well. And we did that all with just one traffic rule. Um, if we visit the packet ride directory, you'll see that we have this certs directory. And then underneath the certs, there's Acme. And then over here, you'll see, um, this is all of the TLS certificate um, information from Let's Encrypt is stored over here. So all that information is actually stored on the machine that you're um, running your Packet Riot client on. And so, um, and so that's it. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, there's a lot of people that use uh, Nextcloud and services like that to just do private file hosting. Packet Riot just makes it really easy to expose these kinds of services on the internet. And it makes it really simple for you to enable Let's Encrypt. Um, and you can also use your custom certificates as well. And with the secure redirection, you just always ensure that um, your requests and data uh, will always be encrypted. Um, so keep in mind uh, to always enable that. That's just a good practice. So please leave me any questions or comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.